Hi friends, it's Carolyn Zook here with Zook Stitch and today is Saturday, March 30th, 2024. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm so glad that you are here spending part of your day or your evening with me. Thanks so much for joining me. I really missed you all last week. It's been two weeks since I uploaded. So I have so much stuff around me. I am completely surrounded with stuff. So I think this is going to be a longer video. Uh, you already know how long it is before I even do. So grab a beverage, grab your stitching. Um, we have a lot to talk about and a lot of goodies to look at. Uh, thank you so much for all your wonderful birthday wishes. I know there's a lot of March birthdays as well. So happy birthday if you're a March baby. Um, there are a lot of March birthdays in my family too. So March is just a popular month to be born, I guess. Um, I had a great trip to Texas to visit my friend. I will put in a couple of pictures here. This is my friend, Tori. Uh, we have been very close friends since college. Um, almost, I mean, since pretty much early college. So we've been friends for nearly 30 years, like 28 years, I think is 28, 29, somewhere around there, but we're pushing 30 years for our friendship. So it was a really great time. I was treated like a queen on my birthday. She baked me a beautiful birthday cake. Um, it was so good. It was just white. I, I prefer white cake uh, with a raspberry filling. I got to watch her son play baseball. We had a family game night. Uh, my birthday, we hit Joann's, we hit Starbucks, we hit Target. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better birthday. So it was really wonderful. It went way too fast. I was there a little over three days um, and it just sped by. Um, and But <laughs> I love her family dearly. They're so dear to me and um, my heart is full. It was exactly what I needed. So thank you, Tori, if you're watching. Um, I'm sharing the pictures with her permission, so no worries about that. Flights were just fine, made all my connections. We were a little delayed, I think coming home out of Dallas for some reason, we were a little bit delayed by like half an hour. Oh, it was a crew change. It was very strange. They had a crew change. Um, but anyway, I had long, or I had like an hour and a half layover in Denver. We were only half an hour delayed, so it was no problem easy travel days. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, like I said, had a great birthday. I'm still celebrating. I had lunch on Thursday with a couple of good friends here in town. Um, I'm having brunch tomorrow, which is Easter for those who celebrate. So happy early Easter. Um, it, the brunch is not for Easter. It's actually a belated birthday uh, brunch for me. So that will be fun. Um, yeah, I'm just going to celebrate. I'm just going to keep celebrating. So it's, I feel so blessed and, um, am just really, really happy. Um, it has been our spring break. I took the week off. So I got home on Monday and I have been running around ever, ever since. Like it's good because I'm getting stuff done around the house that needs to be done. Although if you were to take a look in my house right now, you would see it's utter chaos. Um, and I feel like I need like I know I have tomorrow, but I feel like I need like maybe two more days to get my house in order and then I can go back to work, but that's not how it works. <laughs> so that's fine. Um, but yeah, so spring break has been great. I've been super productive, just running errands, getting little projects done around the house. Randomly, this was not on my list to do over spring break, but you know how like you get something new for your birthday and then you're like, oh, I need to make space for this in my cupboards. Oh, while I'm in here, let's just clean out the cupboard. So I ended up cleaning out a few cupboards, not like the entire thing. I was going to do that this summer, but um, I've cleared out like my Tupperware drawers. I have two of them. Um, so that's cleared out, cleaned up. Um, I do, I um, there's a garage sale this summer at a friend's neighborhood, one of the friends I went to lunch with on Thursday, and she lets me like come over and put my stuff in and help her work the garage sale. So I'm already thinking of, I already have a box or two <laughs> full of stuff for the garage sale. So that's kind of what I've been working on this week is just like home organization, that sort of thing. It's spring. Um, it was pretty cold and rainy this week here in Portland, but today it's going to be like 63 and sunny. So I need to get out and do some yard work and um, clean my car. 
We had a stitchy Zoom call this morning, which was so much fun. So thank you all for joining. That is through the Magazine Monthly Challenge. If you are interested, um, join us on the Facebook group. And um, we would love to have you. There's a few questions to answer. Um, just answer the questions. It's not... Um, we don't care so much what your answers are. We're just trying to make sure you're not a bot. Because that seems to be very rampant. Um, okay. Let's get into it. That is a great segue into our Q&A. So Kathy asked, what is Bringo? Speaking of the Magazine Monthly Challenge. So she hears a lot of people talking about Bringo and she wonders what it is and all that. So Bringo is a month-long game in the Magazine Monthly Cross-Stitch Challenge Facebook group. It is always um, listed down below in the description box if you are interested in checking it out. Again, just ask to join, answer the three questions, and we'll let you in. You can do as much or as little as you want. I co-run the group with my good friend Robin of Bird's Eye Stitches, and we do a few different things in that group. We started with doing monthly themes and acrostics. And an acrostic, if you aren't familiar with that term, is a word that um, you then use each letter and the word to represent something. So, for example, um, this month's word is balloon. And so you would find a cross-stitch piece and somehow make it fit the letter B for balloon. Um, it could be, I'm using blue thread, it could be the designer name, it could be the chart name, it could be the name of the fabric, it could be, there's a bird <laughs> in this piece that I'm stitching. We want you to be as creative as you can. And then you set your own goal each month, so we don't tell you what goal, you, you set your own goal. If you, because everybody's life is so different, some people can stitch six hours a day, some people can stitch two hours a week. Like it just depends on what it is. So you set your own goals. They can be time. They can be number of stitches that can be, you know, I don't know, FFO this piece, whatever works for you. That is the main. And you use, you can use different pieces. You can use all the same piece if you want. Um, if you can get it to fit, um, you're welcome to ask the group uh, for help. Uh, sometimes people do that. Um, so that is what we do every month. That is a month long you can post pictures if you want. You don't have to. It's just fun to see what people are working on. There are no prizes or anything like that for that. It's just a way to kind of challenge yourself um, and have fun kind of making your projects fit and kind of help you plan what you're going to be working on for the following month. Now, on top of that, we do run monthly challenges or monthly pop-up challenges, we call them. Most of the year, they are a week long from like a Sunday to a Sunday. And if you complete, and usually those week long are five hours or 500 stitches total. You take a start picture, an end picture. And then if you complete your 500 stitches or five hours, you can be entered to win a gift certificate, a $20 gift certificate. So we do that each month. Two months out of the year, we have a larger month long pop up challenge. And this is in addition to the theme and the cross deck. Uh, so in January, we have Bringo, which I'll explain in a minute. And then in September, we have what we call AB Singo. They are both bingo games. They're very similar. Um, you make a bingo board, which is five across by five down. So it's 25 squares in all. Um, Bringo, the January one, uh, we give you 25 prompts and you make a uh, project fit that prompt. Some people will make one project fit all the prompts. Uh, I usually try to select five or six, sometimes seven projects and have those, just focus on those six or seven projects for the whole month um, and just try to make them fit the prompts. Um, you can do it how you want to, but you are, if you want to be entered to win, again, you have to have starting and ending photos and um, you stitch one hour or 100 stitches on each call, each time it's called. Uh, so that goes from January 1st through January 25th, and then you have the last six days of the month to do any catch-up that you need. So if you missed a day, you weren't feeling well, whatever, life happens, but you have those six days at the end of the month to do any makeup. And then again, we draw winners. We actually have three winners for that. So um, 
you could do a blackout, which means you got every single square marked off. We have a, a one winner for that. And then we have two winners for just if you get five in a row. Um, so we do that. Uh, AP Singo in September is very similar. The main difference is that instead of prompts, um, you use the alphabet A through Z. And we take out a letter because there are 25... Uh, days that we run it September 1 through 25 so we eliminate one letter and again it's it's like a month-long acrostic it's very similar to the acrostic you just use every letter in the alphabet I last year what I did is I coupled that with sampler September so all my pieces were samplers uh, which was quite fun I will probably do that again this year and it's the same thing you have the last I guess September only has 30 days so you would have the last five days of the month to do any makeup that you need and again we have winners so, Kathy, I hope that helps explain what Bringo is and Magazine Monthly Challenge. I think it's fun, but of course I'm biased because I co-run the group. <laughs> so, thanks for sticking with me. I know we have a lot of new people also in um, in this, this group, so it's good to just kind of give a reminder. I realize I am missing a piece of paper that I need for my next... Well, I, I don't know where it went. Okay, so the next question was from Lizzie Busy. Um, she asked, can you explain Tour de France? Um, so I am happy to, I had printed out, they already have the schedule up and I had printed it out to show you, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> um, so Tour de France is a challenge that I participate in every July usually. Um, it is put on by the Facebook group called Full Coverage Fanatics. So the idea is that you're supposed to do full coverage, um, but you know make it make it work for you so it is not it's not something I thought up it is from full coverage fanatics Facebook group so if you just go search full coverage fanatics if they have questions make sure you answer the questions and then under events if you go into that Facebook group under events there's something called Tour de France 2024 what it is is you select I use I've been using my cat alphabet full coverage um, it's a heaven and earth designs piece is what I've used for the past two years. I make great progress on it, so I will be using that again this year. Um, and what it is is they take the number of kilometers for the Tour de France bicycle race. They take the number of kilometers that um, the bicyclists are riding that day, and you are to stitch that number of stitches each, each day. Um, so, and you can choose different... Like if you don't want to commit to like every single day, um, they have like a yellow jersey, a red jersey. So they have like climbing days if you just want to do the climbing days. So they have a few different options depending on what your time is like during the month of July. For me, I am very lucky that I am um, an 11-month employee at my job. And so I have the month of July off. So I can get a lot of stitching done. So it works out just really perfectly. This year, Tour de France is June 29th through July 21. Um, and if you go on into full coverage for now, you'll see the event. You can say that you're going if you want. Or under the main group, um, you can go under files and there's look for 2024 calendar. And it will show you the calendar of what how many stitches you're supposed to stitch each day. There are two rest days. I usually don't actually do the rest days because um, they tend to be fairly early on. And like in case, because like if I can stitch on those two days, um, then if something happens like later in the month, I, I can still complete um, the, the overall challenge. I don't, I think maybe the first year I posted pictures, I don't think I did last year. I'm terrible at remembering to post starting and ending pictures. <laughs> Um, and I don't even know if there's prizes or not. I just do it because it's a great challenge and I have a little bit of extra time during the month of July. So, and it pushes this piece forward a lot. So you get, I can't remember the total number. It's on the sheet. Something like, if you do every day, it's something like 3,400 stitches in your piece. So that's really good. Um, just kind of by working on it consistently. So check out Full Coverage Fanatics on Facebook and you will see all that information there. Oh my gosh, we are 15 minutes in. I have so much to show you. Okay, so thank you for your questions. Um, hopefully that helped with all the explanations. 
On our Stitchy Zoom call this morning, Candy from the 614 Stitcher said, hey, you have a lot of new subscribers and you haven't shown a piece called Harbor Haven in a very long time. And she's right. I haven't shown it. So I'm going to show it. I took it off the wall to show on the Zoom call. I had to back up because it's very long. Um, so I wanted to show it to you in case you have not seen. <laughs> it's framed and everything. It hangs on my wall above my buffet. And then I, I'll show it to you. Sorry about the glare. I'll show it to you and then I'll explain what this is. So this is by By the Bay Needle Art. It's called Harbor Haven. It is actually 12 charts hold on, <laughs> stitched side by side, just kind of butted up next to each other. Now the nice thing about this is you don't have to do it this way. If you only like two or three of the charts, you could stitch two or three of them if you want. So it's very long. It's not very tall. It's very, very long. So that's my Harbor Haven. Um, I started this. I stitched this on a 32 count vintage smoky white linen. I'm going to put it back here. So we're going to cover up the little Easter for now. Um, 32 count vintage smoky white linen is what I stitched it on. I started it in April 2019 um, that was before I was actually tracking my time um, and I finished it in October 9th 2020 and I estimated because I think it was in 2020 that I started tracking my hours or maybe sometime in 2019 but I estimated based on how long like the average it took me a total of 265 hours to finish this Harbor Haven so that is, it is one of my pride and joys. I think it is probably one of my favorite finishes. Um, it's definitely, Candy was asking me, is that the biggest piece you finished? And I think, yeah, I think for sure it is. Um, definitely took me the longest. And uh, yeah, I'm just really proud of it. Um, so that is Harbor Haven. Um, I went to Acorns and Threads yesterday. I have not been to Acorns and Threads since probably December. Now I placed a big order in January. Um, it's just been so crazy busy, but I went to Acorns and Threads. I met my friend Tammy there. I have a haul to show you, of course, but I met my friend Tammy there who is starting her own finishing business. She's doing some finishing for Acorns and Threads and starting her own business and all that. So she's been doing some finishing for me and I got some pieces back and I want to share them with you because they are amazing. I'm going to save the favorite for last and it's her favorite too. Um, she's like, this is my favorite one. And I agree, it is my favorite. And I'm sorry, I still have them in the packaging, but okay. You ready? This is so fun. <laughs> this one just cracks me up. This, look at this. This is a little tiny pillow. I don't know if you can see how small it is. I have pretty small hands. Um, like, it is a tiny little pillow. It is so stinking cute. This is called Left Behind, which is kind of really sad. I do wish I would have made his nose red so it was like Rudolph, but... Um, this is from um, the Just Cross Stitch Christmas Ornaments issue, uh, the 2018 issue. It's called Left Behind. It is designed by Misty Hill Studio. It's just stitched on a small mystery fabric from Be Stitch Me. A long time ago, I had one um, like a mystery pack bundle, and this fit perfectly on it, so I just stitched it on there. Um, this took me a total of five hours <laughs> to stitch, but get this. I started it. July 16th, 2020, which is when I did a like Jolly July, like I started like 12 different Christmas projects. It only took me five hours, but I didn't finish it until March 14th, 2021. <laughs> what? Anyway, and literally, so I finished it March 14th, 2021. Three years later, I gave it to her to FFO. So this is now FFO'd, I think, and here's the back fabric. I think it's so pretty and so perfect. I just, I love it so much. Um, so I'm going to put that away so that, you know, in um, around Christmas time, it'll come back out. Okay, so that is left behind. Next, okay, let's do this one next. This one is, I believe it's a freebie. It's another old one. I, I, I've been going through my drawer and it's, it is an older one. So is this piece, it is called No Notion and it's a Jane Austen quote. 
Um, it is by Lindy Stitches. It was a freebie. I stitched this on a 16 count Ariel Ada by Picture This Plus. Um, it took me seven and a half hours to do. I started it December 20th, 2019, and I finished it <laughs> two years later, March 30th. Uh, so, so this day three years ago, March 30th, 2021. And it says, I have no notion of loving people by halves. And she put it on the little stand. Um, if you recall, she used a similar stand um, for, um, I had a Christmas piece that she put on a stand. And then here's the backing fabric. Isn't that gorgeous? It's such a pretty fabric. And it says, I have no notion of loving people by halves, which I think is a beautiful, beautiful quote. So I will put this up, I don't know, probably in my stitchy room. I'll put that up. Um, maybe sometime I'll bring it down and it will be in the background of that. So that is no notion. Then we have two more. This one, you might remember this one. This one is called You Are So Loved. If you know, I have long time been saying at the end of my videos that you are so loved. It's in every video I do. Um, this is a freebie by the Sunflower Diaries. You might still be able to find it if you go to their website. Um, I stitched this on a 32 count raw gold Belfast linen. You can see the sparkle. Um, I started it February 3rd, 2021, and I finished it May 23rd, 2021, and it took me seven and a half hours. I changed colors. Like, if you remember this, I didn't like the colors that, I don't know. I just, I struggled with this piece. I didn't like the colors. I didn't like how it showed up. I don't particularly like the fabric. Um, these are all my choices, too. I think I changed some of the colors. I wish I would have done more of a pink instead of an orange. Um, I had framed it really terribly and undid it. I think last summer you probably saw me take out the You Are So because it was stitched in a brown and it was really hard to see. So I took it out and then stitched it in blue. Um, but, and then I gave it to Tammy to FFO. And I really love what she ended up doing with it because this piece has just been, like it's just one of those pieces that hang over you. So she did it like as a block finish. Look at that little button. So cute. And the, the trim is so pretty. And then here's the fun bright orange fabric. And then she put little um, kind of feet on the bottom. So I am much, much happier with this piece than I was. I just, I would just stitch the piece so differently if um, I were to do it today. But, you know. The sentiment is what matters most. You are so loved. So thank you, Tammy. You did a great job. I am so much, look, it matches the flowers back there. Those are, whoops, those are some tulips and daisies that my friend um, that I went to lunch with on Thursday gave me for my birthday. So that is You Are So Loved. And then, okay, this is, this is kind of the favorite one, both. Tammy said, I, this is my favorite one. And I saw it and I just, my jaw hit the ground. <laughs> um, okay. I told you this is going to be a long video. Are you ready? You're not even ready for this. You're not even ready. <laughs> Are you ready? Ah, <laughs> look at that. <gasps> it's so good. She made it into a flat fold. So it stands up. You can see underneath with the ribbon and the fabric on the back is just perfect. And the pink trim, it's so perfect. This is called Frogs and Wellies. It was originally in a magazine. I didn't write down what magazine it was in, but I think it's being sold separately now. Um, it is by Fabi Riley. Um, I just stitched this on a 28 count white Lugana. I started it April 19th in 2021 and I finished it May 22nd in 2022, and it took me 18 hours. And the whole point, like in the magazine, F Fabi Riley's charts, um, these are spider stitches, spider web stitches, I think they're called for the flowers. Um, and then you stitch on raindrops, but I didn't want to deal with stitching on raindrops, so I just found some little, like, charms for raindrops. And I think it turned out so good. It's just perfect. Tammy did an excellent job. Um, so after we take Easter down, you will definitely be seeing this one behind me here. 
Um, so that is super, super fun. Um, if you are interested in having Tammy do some finishing for you, um, check her out. She has a floss tube. It's called Woodland Stitching Studio. I'll be sure to link it down below. So definitely check her out. Um, check her out. It'll, she's fantastic. Okay, let's get into the actual stitching now. So that's everything I have to show you. So let me show you what I worked on. I didn't get a ton of stitching in just because I was traveling. I didn't even take any with me um, on my trip, and I wouldn't have had time anyway uh, to stitch, which is fine. But my 25-7 piece, um, since I saw you last, has still been the Biddy Bowl Club March. Um, this is by Pine Mountain. I'm in the 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 club where they send you one each month. Um, I have already finished the bag back here, which you saw, and I am now working on the pillow. I'm close to finishing the pillow. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to get it done before April. And this is where I'm at on the pillow. So I have the four leaf clover and the flowers done. Um, there's some sprigs coming out here that I need to do and a little bit of back stitching. And then in each of the corners, it says L-U-C-K for luck. So I'm going to do, I'm going to try to finish this before April. So that's my bitty bowl. We're just going to dump things down. Okay, next up, winter montage. So we worked on this one last time. This is... Uh, Artwork by Janet Stever, charted by Pain Free Crafts. We are up here. And let me show you my starting point. Okay. So I have a picture up here, hopefully, of my starting point. And let me show you where we are in Bean. Right here. Isn't this great? I'm so happy with the progress. Um so I worked some more. I kind of carried out more over here and just kind of moved over. You can see where these berries will go in next um, when I pull it out next. And that's probably what I'll do is I'll pull it out, fill that in, and then kind of work my way back up and over and up and over and over and over. So we are nearly, I think, about almost halfway done with the first block. So that's exciting. Um, now I pulled this out. Well, I probably worked on it a day in January, in December, maybe. But anyway, so far this year, so I worked on this on Sundays, January, February, March, until spring started. I got a total of 3,829 stitches in it. Um, and I am now at 5.22%. Uh, so I got 2.5% done in the past three months, which is good, just working on it one day a week. So I'm really happy with that um, and the progress you can see with the picture. Um, and thank you to those of you who reminded me that, you know, because I think I said last time that this um, is going to go away for the year. But actually, winter starts, was it like December 21st? There's two Sundays. There's two Sundays um, that uh, in December that I will be able to pull it out for 2024 yet. So that's exciting. But that's going to go away now until winter. I had a birthday new start, and I know several of you are also working on this, and I've seen several of them, and they're so beautiful. Sarah from Sitchy Mommy, I know. Dawn, I know you're working on it. Um, Karen um, from Stitching Past My Bedtime, you're working on it. Um, this is Floral Alphabet by JBW Designs. JBW Designs is the Garon focus on a designer for the month. Um, and this is what it will look like. And let me show you what I got done so far. I picked my own colors. And this is where I got to. I love the colors. It does look like there's a lot of yellow. I decided to do my name, my initials, C, L, and then Z in yellow, just because it just it just worked. And the the way this is set up, the C and the L are close together. But it will look better <laughs> once um, all the other stuff is in. I've only had time to work on this for two days. Um, and if you watch Stitching Mommies, um, she brought up a really great point, which I'm so glad she did because I felt the same way. It's hard, if you are, it's charted to be monochrome, like one one floss. 
I'm using four different colors and um, it's sometimes hard because these are very curly letters. It's hard to tell where the vines are and where the parts of the letters are and all that. Um, so I'm just kind of making it up, whatever I feel like is best. So, I mean, look at the needle minder. Um, so this is where I'm at. I love it. I think I'm just stitching this on a white fabric. I don't know. I didn't pull the fabric name. Um, but yeah, it's super, super fun to work on. And I just really love how the colors are playing together. So I am using, um, what am I using? Cottage Garden Threads, I think, for this one. So this one will probably go away for a while, which I'm sad about, but birthday's over. We got more stuff to stitch. Uh, so that is a really fun one to, to work on. Then um, for another birthday start, um, I worked on Scenic Farm, which is a dimensions kit. Um, this was a birthday start, I don't know, a few years ago. And I am over in this section right in here like this upper corner. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. It, there's a lot of stitching in this. <laughs> I'm going to, it's a lot. Um, this, I'm stitching this on a 32 count moonstone by color and cotton. And this is where I got to. I am not following the directions of the dimensions kit. I am doing everything two over two. There are definitely places where it says stitch three strands of this color and one strand of this color. And I'm not doing that. I'm doing two over two. I think it looks great. Um, there's some errors, but I've had a whole bunch of this. You, it's hard to see, but there's some like light, it's almost like a light gray back here behind the tree. I got a lot of that done. I got this, um, rooftop in, I started in, I got the first layer of backstitch done on the tree. Um, and the tree you can see is kind of coming into play here. So I worked on this four days this week when I got home. I thought I originally scheduled it for five days, but when I got home on Monday, my flight landed at like three, three-ish in the afternoon. Um, but then it was after five by the time I got my luggage and got home and all that. And then, you know, the cats were clingy and then I was exhausted and, you know, so I just didn't stitch that night, but I got four days in on it. Uh, and I'm pleased with the progress. This is, I am just over halfway down this way. So it's not a very wide high piece. It's a long piece. So I'm a little bit over halfway down. So this is good. I, I am very happy with it. Um, I will look forward to pulling that out again, probably next year, um, for my birthday. Okay. That's what I stitched on over the past two weeks. There's probably a week in there where I didn't stitch at all, but I do have haul. Um, I do have some haul and, um, let me just check. Let me just check something real quick. Um, yeah. Okay. So what I was checking was Jenny, Jenny Dawn reached out to me and said, <laughs> have you seen this on Etsy? You need it right away. And I went and looked and she was right. I needed it. I ordered it. It was shipped super fast. So let me show you what it is. I'm going to reach out. Okay. Let me just show you what it is. Is that not the cutest thing? Mandy, you need one of these immediately. Look at that precious face. Don't you just want to kiss it? Unless you have cat allergies, you probably won't. But with the beautiful flowers, it's a pin cushion. It is super tight. It is so tightly um, stuffed. There's a couple little pins in it, a heart. And this one is a little black cat. And it says, I love cat. It's so perfect. She, they have, I only saw black cats. I'm going to see if she has something similar with like a tabby for Simon. Um, but this is magnificent. Let me show you. The Etsy shop is called Dolls and Their Girls. Dolls and Their Girls. And I'll link them down below. Um, and then she also sent this beautiful thank you card as well. 
Um, oh my gosh. I, Jenny, thank you so much for letting, I didn't know anything about it until you pointed it out to me. Um, so I will link it down below. If you're a black cat lover, like I am, you need to go th do this. Mandy, this is a must have for you. Okay. Okay. It's so, I just look at my heart melts when I look at it. I'm just a sucker. I'm just a sucker. Okay. So I got that. Now what is, it's all mixed up. I have some birthday, I have some cards, um, and it's all kind of mixed up together. So I'm just going to grab from my pile and we'll just combine Stitchy Kindness, birthday, and regular haul. So when I saw my friend Tammy, she, uh, look at that envelope, she hand stamped that. She makes her own cards. So I wanted to show you the birthday card. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? She knows I love wildflowers. I think it's just gorgeous. And she made it and wrote a lovely message inside and gave me a very lovely gift as well. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I just love it. I just love the talent in, in the stitching community. So thank you so much, Tammy. Um, you've met Tammy on here before. She has um, she has made appearances on here. Okay, so that was a birthday card from Tammy. Next up, I got my fabric of the month from Garon. This is Seraphim. This is the color Polar Lights. I haven't really taken it out of the package. And you can see it's like a, sorry about the, oh, sorry about the glare. It is like, it's very much a underwater, well, it's polar lights, but it's like greens and purples and blues by Seraphim. And I get the 32 count linen. So that will be great to add to my stash. All right, next up, I have a super cute birthday card from my dear friend, Anne. Look at him. He is so cute. And Anne wrote a very lovely message inside. So thank you so much, my friend. I love you. Um, she knows that words are my love language. Well, maybe she didn't know. Love Words are my love, are my love language. <laughs> so um, I loved it. So thank you so much for thinking of me. Oh, well, that's the envelope. I want to show you address. And then I got this really cute card from my dear friend Nancy. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And she also wrote a very lovely message and included two skeins of DMC 517 and 312. She knows that blue is my favorite color. So she included two skeins of blue floss which was really, really wonderful. So thank you so much, Nancy. Nancy um, is um, my stitching angel. She frogged a whole bunch. She frogged part of a hay for me. Um, so thank you. Um, then what did I get? I got, oh, my World of Cross Stitch magazine. Look, there's a Peter the Rabbit. Um, this is the April 2014, it is not the 2014 issue, it is the 2024 issue, <laughs> add 10 years. Uh, so we'll be doing a flip through, I'm hoping I'll have time tomorrow, we'll see how it goes, I have a lot to do. Um, but, and then along with that came this butterfly keyring kit, so that's really cute, I, you heard the chain in there. And then, the, this is also this postcard perfect um chart that was added in by Joanne Aston. So that's really pretty. We'll probably do that as a giveaway because I just don't think I'll stitch it. But look, there's like a close-up of the little dog. So watch for that. We're not going to do giveaways today. Um, but watch, watch for that coming up. Okay. Things are going on the floor. We are running out of room. Okay, this cracked me up. This um was from sweet Georgie. Georgie is so sweet. I don't know. I, Georgie, I think you've been here from the beginning or very close to it. She sent me this beautiful card wishing happy birthday to you. And then along with that, she sent me this coaster, which just cracks me up. We'll be friends till we're old and senile, and then we'll be new friends all over again. So Georgie, you are so cute. I will think of you every time I, I see this and use it. So thank you so much. So that was really fun. That totally made me laugh. Then also my sweet friend Linda um, sent me this 
birthday card. Light is, yeah, well, birthday slash, I'll show you. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% what you do with what happens to you. Isn't she cute? That would make a gorgeous cross stitch. It's a Mary Inglebright. Um, I think she'd be a really cute cross stitch. So, and she sent me very kindly a piece of fabric. This is from her hummingbird garden kit. Um, she ordered the kit, but wasn't going to use the fabric. So this is, um, I think it's a 28 count vintage white. Um, is it vintage? I don't know. It's a 28 count. I will definitely use it for something. So she sent that to me. Um, and Linda, no, I have not mailed the magazine yet, but I have it. I have it to me. She, she asked me in the, she's like, um, I'm behind. I'm behind on mailing. Um, okay. So I got that from Linda. So thank you so much, Linda, for sending that. I got in the mail. Now this is not super cross stitch related, but I wanted to show it to you anyway, because I think a lot of you will be interested and I do plan to do a flip through at some point. I got this book. This is the Hirschner, Hirschner's Big Book of Christmas Crafts. Um, there are all sorts of cross, cross stitches in here. There are like maybe four or so cross stitch pieces, but there are also different types like this is a cross stitch. Oh, could you imagine? But there's just like cute ideas. And I just, I don't know. They mailed me something in the mail to say like, hey, are you interested? And I was like, yeah. And so they mailed it to me and I just paid for it. Um, so that's a cross stitch piece and that you could easily just take, if you just like the center cabin, you could just stitch the center cabin and not the rest or, you know, vice versa. So, oh, things are just falling up. So we will do a flip through of this at some point, um, pretty soon here. But if you wanted to go try to find it, I assume it's available on Hershner's. I actually haven't looked cause they just send me stuff in the mail that says, do you want this? And I'm like, mm-hmm. So big book of Christmas crafts. The thing that fell out is a freebie, Mason Jar Crafts freebie, which I think is really cute, just like with fake snow and some Christmas lights and just how cute it is. So, um, I got that. Okay. Then I got a gift from my friend Andrea, who has also appeared on here. Um... <laughs> She got me a new market release for my birthday. Um, it is Hello by Liz Matthews Spring House. I have wanted this. Look at this. It's actually stitched on two different fabrics. Um, so there's all sorts of flowers. There's a black cat right here in the window. I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. So not only did she send me this, so she had Gary and Ronnie kit it up. And they wrap it for, for for me, which is really nice. She sent me both pieces of fabric. It's fiber on a whim. This is Cypress 32 count linen for the lighter one. That's the bottom fab, bottom piece of fabric. Oops, right there. And then the upper one is called Night Sky. I'm trying to think. Yeah, this is the called for. That is the call for. And then they also kitted it up with the floss. So the DMC floss. So this is so great. I think Andrea and I are starting it. Um, I can't remember now when we said we're going to start it. I'll have to check. I'll have to check my messages. But we're going to start it. So if you have this or want to get it, we're going to start it. I think we said May Day start, I think is what we said. So May Day start. Oh my gosh. I told you it's going to be a long one. Stuff is just falling down. Okay. More haul. Then I went to Acorns yesterday, as you know. This is my Acorns bag. And, um, let's, let's take things out of the bag. Um, okay. So I went to Acorns and I have a a coupon book. They do this every year. They do a coupon book. And this month's coupon was 20% off all fabric. Now, am I a member of two fabric of the month clubs? Yes. I don't usually need fabric. Um, I do have a small stash. 
it's relative. I have a stash of fabric um, that I do pull from. Usually I'm a cult for a girl a lot of the time. But anyway, I I picked up this piece. This is a Belfast linen uh, vintage butterscotch. So you can kind of see it's, it is kind of like a bright yellow. And what I got this piece for, I showed this. This is Ink Circle's Clouds Over Verlanda. Because I kitted it up in January with the Belsois. And I thought this would be pretty, it's pretty close to the Call For. The Call For is a Grace Notes fabric. Um, but I thought this was really bright and it will go well with the colors. So I got that for that. And let me put it in so I don't forget. I don't know where I'm going to start this. I was going to start it in May, but I might not. I, I want to start it because I just love it. I think it's, this was a recent release by Ink Circles. It might have been, not Market, but Needle, the other one, the August one, last year. But, so I got that for that. Then... This piece, I almost bought the whole yard. I restrained myself. I only got half the yard. This is, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just gorgeous. It is such a rich, it's like a coral, light red maybe. This is 32 count. It's Atomic Ranch Linen and it's called Copper Penny. It's so pretty. So I got half yard of this because it was gorgeous. So I got that. Then, oh no, that's not all. That's not all. Okay, so then I picked up this um, wool felt kit, finishing kit for Jeanette Douglas's garden box. So it has the ruler, it has all the felt pieces in it. And this is a market release. This, I got the chart from Garan. So I already, I think, I'm pretty sure I already have the word, word, wood box and then this is the finishing kit you can see up there so I got the finishing kit from acorns so super cute I'm just looking to see where the ruler goes where that ruler where it goes on here but I don't see it but that's okay we'll look later okay so I got the finishing kit for that then I got she had a um, Three bins of 50% off charts, and this was one of them. It's Marie Louise Pure, Pure, 1911. It's by Hands Across the Sea. It's a marking sampler, and I just loved the colors and the border. So I got that um, for half off. I don't know when I'm going to start it, but it's a Hands Across the Sea. Then I got um, a few charts. <laughs> Because I have another thing to stitch. Um, this is called, uh, this is by From the Heart Needle Art by Wendy. And this is spring. I, this might be a market release too. I can't remember. I love that frame too that she used. I love the colors. I was talking with Tammy because I don't like the word spring in there. So Tammy suggested taking out the word and moving this motif, just kind of centering it more between these two um, little trees. And then that's all I would need to do. So I'll probably do that. Um, but otherwise I love it and I look forward to seeing like what her other months are. I don't know. I haven't even looked yet to see if she already has released other months or if this is the first in the series or other seasons, I should say. But I love the colors and that. I think that's really pretty. I got Ink Circle's Garden of Zig. Um, Tammy is working on this. Tammy actually bought the thread pack first. And held onto the thread pack for a few months and then finally like caved and bought the chart. But the th I just think it's so pretty. The called for is it's cottage garden threads called for. They didn't have any more thread packs there, so I just um had them order another thread pack. So that's Garden of Zig. Um Tammy shows it in one of her videos um because she's been working on it. And then this one, what year is this from? 20. 23. Okay. I didn't know Rosewood Manor did these smaller ones. 
Candy, did you know that she does these smaller ones? Because you have to add these to your to your collection. So this is called Rose Heart. I thought it was just so gorgeous. Um, and it includes the little heart charm. I just think it's really pretty. I mean, it could be Valentine's Day, but it doesn't have to be. Um, it's small. It's 74 by 94. And I have pink fabric. It calls for 28 count mountain pink from Mountain Air. But I, I have other pink fabric. In fact, this might be, well, it's more red than pink, I would say, when you hold it up like that. But, you know. Anyway, so I got that, which I love. That is my haul. I think that's everything for my haul. If I miss something, I'll show you next week. But that's plenty for now. Oh, my gosh. This video is so long. Okay. Flipping the page. We're going to talk about plans now. We're into plans, which is great. Um, okay, so for plans, April. April is coming in a couple of days. Is that everything? I'm just looking around real quick. Yeah, that's everything. Okay, so April is going to be here in a couple of days. So for April, my 25-7 piece for April, I'm going to pull out, this is Madame Lafie. The English translation is Garden Sweetness. So that's what I call it. I call it Garden Sweetness. Um, we started this, we started last year, I think. I love it. I think it's so pretty and I want to work on it. Um, so this will, we'll see this a lot in April. Um, this is, I'm stitching this on a 32 count vintage blue whisper. Um, and... This is my 25-7, but, so this is where I'm at, so just a little bit. I must have only worked on it a few days, and that's it. Um, but we had a Madame Lafie sow last year. Um, yeah, so I'm just, like, right up in here in this potted plant. So, but it's also, so 25-7 piece, but also it's going to count for my magazine monthly challenge. Uh, the theme for April is Down the River down the river so there are birds which can live on, along a river there are flowers and plants which you can find along a river butterfly so that's how I'm making this work um, with down the river kind of the, the natural um, items so that is working that's how we're going to do that one okay Okay, now, then our acrostic for the month, as you can see, you don't have to stitch from magazines. Um, I mean, I try to, but you don't have to, right? Um, the acrostic for this month is rowboat. So down the river, rowboat, R-O-W-B-O-A-T. So my R for in row is going to be purple rain. This is a Heaven and Earth Designs. That is Prince. I started this with Candy, the 614 Stitcher. I am stitching this on a piece of 18 count Ada that was hand dyed by EJ. Um, and this is where I'm at. This will be our starting photo. So, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll look forward to getting more, more work on this. I'm going to give it three days. This month. So I'm going to work on it April, May, June and give it three days each month. So that will be good to get some love in him. The O in Robo, both o O's, my Midwest accent came out there for a second. Oof. Both O's are going to be Our Hearts. This is by With Thy Needle and Thread. Um, I started this a while ago, like a few years ago, I think. Um... And it says, your heart and my heart are very old friends. Um, and this is on my year of whips, so I would like to get it done. This is as far as I've gotten. I love this fabric. It's just a 32 count platinum Lugana. I love how the colors show up. I love how my stitches look on this fabric. Um, so this will be both O's for our hearts. And I'm going to give this three days. So that is fun. Then, 
for the W, I need to stitch edges. I'm going to pull out Hummingbird Garden, which we started as a sal. This is the spring 2024 just cross stitch. This is um, a Carolyn Manning design it's stitched in Sullivan's. I have the first one done, so I'm going to move on to the second one and try to get the second one done. Um, and so this is the kit fabric that Linda sent me her fabric because she didn't want to use the fabric. Here's the first one. I'm actually not quite done because I realized I'm missing a few stitches, like eight total stitches here. So I'll put those eight in and then move on to the next one. I love it. The colors are just gorgeous in this. So we're going to try to get, we're going to give it three days. Oh, the W because hummingbirds were like W H I R, right? They buzz around. They were. That's how I made it work. Okay. For the B in boat, I'm going to pull out beautiful things. This is by Lindy Stitches. It says, oh my darling, it's true. Beautiful things have dents and scratches too. This is also on my year of whips. I have a long way to go. So I need to give it some love. Um, we're going to work on this three days this month. I am stitching this on a piece of Outback Jack by Be Stitch Me. It is 32 count. And this is where I'm at. I have a long way to go on this. I think I took this to a retreat last year. So I'm basically like right here. <laughs> like there's, we got to give some love to her. So that will, that will be good to come out. Then the A in boat, I'm going to pull out Antonia. Um, it's Antonia Roselle E. Garcia, 1886. It is by Jan Hicks Creates. This is what it will look like. It is another marking sampler. I am stitching this on a very messy 32 count vintage smoky white linen. So it's very, very wrinkly. This is also on my year of whips. So I want to give it some love to get it done. And this is where I'm at. So I will, what am I missing over here? I'm missing part of the border. So what I might do is I might bring this border down and then go back in and work on that purple alphabet. So that is where that is and we want to finish it this year. So we're going to give that three days this month. I need to, I need to look at all the fraying. I mean, it's, it's stitched, so it won't go much further than that, but it just is driving me nuts. Then the T in boat is another one that is on my year of whips. Um, this one I started with my friend, Jessie. Um, she's long done with it. This is by the Snowflower Diaries. It is called Trust the Universe. So that is what that looks like. And I am stitching this on a piece of 32 count Cresting Wave by Fortnite Fabrics. I started this for Mental Health Matters in May. Um, and you can see my needle miner that Devi sent me, Mental Health Matters. Um, so this is kind of hard to see. You can see it in real life. It's a bird's head that's coming out in their beak holding the flower. So I have quite a ways to go on this too. So like this is what I have. I have trust. I'm keeping out that line and the T, but I have all her and her hair and all that to do. So I've got a ways to go. I picked a lot of projects this year for my year of whips that I need a lot of work on. Okay, so that's the acrostic. Then we have talked about starting a sal, a Herschel and Lucy sal which is, um, let me show you, um, Stitching Mommy Designs, Herschel and Lucy. Um, I am doing introductions. That's what that one looks like. She has another design. can't remember what it's called. And then she's working on a third release that will come out hopefully by early April. Um, I won this chart from a, um, a giveaway, her seven-year giveaway. Seven years on Floss 2, and she did a giveaway. And so... Um, we did a giveaway where I gave away four charts. Two of you, I know I still owe you the charts. Um, so I, I'm not ignoring you. I just haven't had a chance. I have a, so many emails in that inbox. So I need to go through and check them. But I'm not ignoring you. You will get your charts. So this is a call for floss. It's not pretty. 
And then I'm just going to stitch it on a piece ahead of my stash. This is a antique white cashew linen. Um, actually, oh, it should be okay. As I say, like I see some B5200, but it should be okay because the I think the B5200 is just in his, um, it's surrounded by other colors, so it should be okay. The ladybug is one over one. So just keep that in mind, um, which is why I picked a 28 count. So then I should be able to do the one over one because it's on 28 count, hopefully. <laughs> so let's start our Herschel and Lucy charts. Let's start it on April 15th. I thought that was a good day to start because in the U.S. it is tax day. Um, and so we need a new start to help ease it's when taxes are due. So um, we just need a new start to help us get through tax day. So April 15th, and we'll just use Herschel and Lucy Sal. So I will be giving that three days and see how far we can get on that one. Then I showed you this last week. I am going to be working on spring montage for my seasonal Sunday pieces. This is what it looks like. Um, this is, again, artwork by Janet Stever, charted by Pain Free Crafts. I am on that first um first block i'm stitching all these on 32 count white lugana um because they're full coverage so it doesn't really matter um and that's where i'm at for our starting picture so that will come out um then i'm gonna work on my flower birth sampler i'm gonna give this a couple days this month this is by historical sampler company this is what it will look like. Obviously a different name and baby info. And I am stitching this on a piece of 32 count pastel lilac linen. And this is where I'm at. A lot of stitching in this. I think this is on my year of whips to finish. Also the baby boy is born in November. So I do want to, my goal is to get it in to the person by the baby's first year, or first birthday. How's that sound? Okay, so there's that. So this week, so I'm gonna finish up this month. Eight, oh, sorry, I hit you. Uh, March. I'm gonna do two more days on the March Biddy Bowl. I'm gonna try to get that pillow done, and then I will have the pieces all done. I'll just need to FFO them. Um, but they'll be ready for next March. <laughs> then I've been craving a new start. Now I know I have a lot of new starts this year, but I've been actually what I've been craving is an Easter start. So we have our Easter pictures behind us. One is kind of covered up there, but, um, but I want a, a new Easter start. So I decided over lunch with Tammy yesterday that I'm going to start eggs all around by Glendon place. I'm going to start this today um and work on it today and tomorrow which means my sunday mon uh, my spring montage will not get any work tomorrow um we'll see I, I will add in another day at some point um i'll add in another day at some point so we'll get all the days you just might not see it next week here are the colors i don't have them all i was kidding this up that's what i was doing on our stitchy zoom calls i was kidding this up look at those Eastery colors. There's also a whole bunch of Krynek and a whole bunch of Mill Hill beads. I have those on order coming in. And I'm just going to use this piece of antique white 28 count cashew linen to stitch it on that was in my stash. So I'm very excited about this. This is kind of an impromptu start, but you are welcome to join me if you have this. Um, if you have it and you want to start it, please please join me. So that's what I'm going to work on the, the rest of, so today and tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday. Monday, Monday, um, April starts. So keep your wits about you on Monday because it's April Fool's Day. I start back to work on Monday. We have four weeks left of school. And this first week back is going to be insane. <laughs> This is going to be nuts. I literally look at my calendar and I am in nonstop meetings from 10 a.m. to like 6.30 p.m. Like, it's nuts. But that's okay. I, I do love my job, actually. So, 
But starting Monday for, for April, I'm going to our new 25-7 is Garden of Sweetness. So that will come out on Monday. Um, I'm going to give Biddy Bolt April two days. So this is what the April one looks like. It's this cute little bag that says spring. And it's this little nest. And it says nest, N-E-S-T, in the corner. So it's super cute. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I'm going to start working on that. I'm going to give it two full days um, and see how far I can get. Usually I use this as my 25-7 and it just feels like it's painstakingly slow. But I'm hoping if I can give it like a good solid three hours, six hours total for the week, that I can make some good progress. So we'll see where we get to with that. Um, and then um, I'm going to pull out Antonia uh, and give that three days as well. So that will take us through Friday. And then I think I'm going to work on this another day next Saturday, but we'll talk about that next Saturday. That, my friends, is everything. It's over an hour. I hope you're still with me. <laughs> um, I will be, my plan is to get giveaways sent out by Monday morning. Um, there's my notebook um, that I keep my notes in. I started this January 1st, 2023 which was four years on YouTube is when I started. I'm still using the same notebook. We're getting down there. You can see where the safety, where the paper clip is, but we still have ways to go. Um, anyway, I hope you're doing well. Um, I hope that if it's spring where you are, that it's a good one. Um, I am going to I have some editing to do on this video. I have to pick up this mess. I have to get out and mow my yard and I have to, I'm going to clean up my car. I'm actually going to vacuum it and dust it and all that good stuff so it will feel good going into the last month of classes. And we're starting to get busy, folks. But take care of your sweet selves, and I will see you all next week. Happy Easter. Bye. Bye.